my wings, but like my brows are never even. But it is the best that I am willing to do today. So we'll both have to live with that. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my recommendations for somebody starting off doing their makeup and they kind of want to go into the drugstore and purchase a few products, don't want to spend too much money, but do want really good quality products that is going to last them and actually perform really, really well. So I did put together a full face of recommendations from the drugstore. Now I did try to get everything from Walmart. There's like a product or two that you might not be able to get from Walmart, but I personally like shopping for drugstore products at Walmart because they're always either a dollar to a few dollars difference from like walgreens ulta and i think that's so crazy but also while you're grocery shopping while you're grabbing shampoo while you're grabbing something from walmart just go ahead and just browse through the cosmetic section because there's always really good deals and sometimes they go on sale so definitely keep an eye out even my favorite sponge is from walmart so i definitely like to stock up on things from there because they are significantly cheaper and also they'll have like random little sets um that i think is really cool or travel size so definitely keep an eye out on the cosmetic session at walmart because sometimes it'll surprise you i noticed more recently they're starting to carry more brands like nyx which i think is super cool my favorite liquid liner that i actually use to create this wing which i don't do wings very often but this liner does make it really easy to get a little bit more of a precise wing and they started carrying it at walmart so i'm super psyched about that because i usually try to wait for an ulta sell but if i need one and it's not on sale at ulta i can just go to walmart and pick it up now a couple of these items are over ten dollars now i'm trying to work on a video with products all under ten dollars um full face everything's going to be under ten dollars so yeah so if you're interested in seeing how i got this look using a full face of drugstore products that you can get again mostly at walmart go ahead and keep on watching all right so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put some lip butter on i don't know if you can get this at walmart the brand tree hut is available there and so if you do see the lip balms there this one's really good i got it at ulta and like this like little box that they were selling that actually sold out really quickly it's thick so i do like to use it on its own and on top of other products oh, i need to brush my hair today for primer i'm recommending two different primers depending on what your preference is the first one is wet and wild this is the water drop primer and this is in the cucumber scent it comes out like this it's super lightweight and it does feel very cooling when you put it onto the skin this does have a really thin consistency when you put it on it kind of just feels like water like you're rubbing like you're rubbing water on your face but it does feel really nice and it does feel like it's doing something i do have oily skin so i do like to take a little bit of precaution when i'm using hydrating products especially when it's hot outside because it is hotter now i do notice that my pores are a little bit more obvious so i am going to go in with the elf poreless face primer and this i'm going to concentrate where i have um the most pores which is usually my t-zone on my cheeks basically all of my face and i remember back in the day there was controversy about this because of the packaging so basically you can take this off and you can see actually how much product you get it looks so much bulkier and bigger than what you actually are getting so i always thought that was funny i do think it does a really good job at smoothing out your skin and preparing your skin for foundation so for that i do like it the packaging and the amount that you get doesn't really bother me if you really want this to last longer they do have a bigger one um that's in an even bulkier packaging that you probably get the usual amount of primer next i'm gonna go ahead and take my fit me loose powder i'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin a little bit with this like i said i do have oily skin it is hotter so i'm going to try to make this a little bit more long wearing and i did show you guys what i'm doing i did go in depth on why i do this before my foundation in my last video so if you are interested in seeing why i'm putting this powder on before my foundation go ahead and check out my last video so now that we have that powder on i'm going to take my milani make a setting spray with my eco tools sponge i'm going to spray a little bit on dab off the extra and go in and make sure that that powder isn't just sitting on top of the skin so when i go over with foundation it doesn't clean for foundation i'm going to go ahead and recommend two different ones and the two that i'm going to recommend are these the first one i'm going to recommend is the wet n wild photo focus foundation i do think this applies very very nicely onto the skin it has a good shade range now certain stores are going to have more colors available um i do think that walmart doesn't have the best color range i know some walgreens depending on your area will have more of a shade range but definitely go online to see their full range because i do think it does come in a pretty decent amount of shades 
And the second one, if you do want to spend a little bit more money, I think this is hands down the best foundation in the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. And I'm not somebody who wears makeup on a daily basis. Like I only really wear it on the weekends and I'm almost out of this. So that just goes to show how much I do love this product. And it definitely beats all the foundations that I have in my collection right now. For the sake of this video, I am going to go ahead and use this since I've been using that one in like basically all of my videos. And if you're near my skin tone, just for color reference, I do wear this in a buff bisque comes with a little paddle so I'm just going to kind of dot this all over the skin it is a thinner formula and it does have a smell to it so if you're sensitive to smells this does have like a weird like foundation-y paint smell not really paint but like I don't know it has a weird smell to it not as weird as the physician's formula foundation that one has like the weirdest smell and that one doesn't go away but I do love the finish of that one too this is a really nice foundation to build up so i'm gonna go ahead and build it up just a little bit in areas that i feel like i need it which is my cheeks a little bit on the chin forehead and nose and i do think this can give you a pretty good medium coverage if you want something a little bit fuller you would have to pack on a little bit more product but for the sake of just keeping it natural, I'm gonna keep it right here. Then we're gonna move on to concealer. Now, you guys know that my favorite concealer is the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer, but the e.l.f. Camo Concealer is really nice also. I think I'm gonna mix these today because I want something a little bit more brighter and I want something a little bit more in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these for a little bit more of a satin kind of finish for my concealer. So definitely mixing them i did get more coverage from the normal one this one does have a little bit more coverage than the hydrating one and i don't mind a medium coverage concealer but definitely if you want to bump up the coverage the original does have more coverage than the hydrating i just like the finish of the hydrating and mixing them does give me a nice natural satin finish and then for powder i am going to go ahead and powder now just lightly with my maybelline fit me powder and i'm only setting it now because i don't feel like waiting brushing out any foundation and powder that might have gotten into my brows before I go in with my brow product. So the brow product I chose for this video is the e.l.f. brow pencil. This is a $2 brow pencil. It's so good. And I use it in the shade, it's in the shade neutral brown. So I'm just going to go in, this fills in your brow super quickly. Like, look how quick that was. I think I like about this product is that it blends nicely. So when I go in with this spoolie, it doesn't like kind of, a lot of products will kind of skip when I do this. And this one just kind of blends in the color so nicely. And look how fast that was. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the e.l.f. hydrating concealer on the back of my hand and just clean up my brows just a little bit. I'm gonna be using this small wet n wild brush. Just like this really small, I think it's like their smudger brush or something like that, but it's really nice just for cleaning up your brows. I definitely do feel like cleaning up your brows after using this product is necessary because it's kind of thick and, and it doesn't give you the precision. Precision? What am I? You know, pres, it's not as precise as skinny brow pencil. Definitely cleaning them up is kind of like necessary with this one. So I'm just gonna take a nice fluffy brush and just set the rest of my face with the loose powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes right now. I'm gonna be using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I do think this is really good. You do get a lot of product and this will last you a really long time. And I believe this goes for like $6.99 at Walmart. Prices may vary depending on where you're shopping, but at mine, I usually always see it for about $6.99. Now for bronzer recommendation, I'm recommending the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. They used to only have two shades. The Physicians Formula is kind of known for not having the best shade range. Now they have expanded the color range for this collection from their first release. So I do think there is a lot more shades available for different skin tones and the formula is just really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on.
It just like blends out my two seconds. on to blush, I am going to be recommending this Milani powder blush. These are super pretty, they're super natural. They're not super pigmented, so they're easy to work with. So you're not gonna go too overboard with these. They do have a couple of different colors. They have like a really nice bright corally one. But for today, I'm gonna be going into this one, 01 Romantic Rose. And it's just like a really pretty neutral pink. See if I can, it comes up on camera, like how much I have to actually build this up. See, that's like really pretty. And when you think of like something that's like not super pigmented, it's usually not a good thing. But for blush, I do think something that's not super pigmented is ideal for somebody who's just starting out or doesn't really use a ton of blush. You're gonna have to actually work really hard to go overboard with this. If you just want a little bit, you can just go in with one little coat. But of course, you already know I'm gonna go in with like three. Then for highlight, I'm gonna go into this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. Now, at first I really didn't like this highlighter, but the more you work with it, the more like you kind of wear off this film that's on top. And then once you wear that off, it's actually a pretty creamy metallic powder. And this will give you a really pretty highlight. And I'm gonna take a little bit on a brush and I'm just gonna look, look at this. That was the tiniest little bit. So you can kind of buff this onto the skin and make it a little bit more natural or you can build it up. And get it really intense and now this highlight does emphasize texture a little bit but if you're human you're gonna have a little bit of texture we have pores it's whatever i really don't mind that it does that i'm not gonna walk around with face tune skin or life so it's not a huge deal to me i do love the glow that this gives off and it's super inexpensive it's from wet n wild one of my favorite drugstore brands of all time so for eyeshadows i do have to recommend these three dollar little eyeshadow quads from e.l.f. I think these are so good. And these are kind of like a no-brainer. Like you don't really have to think about like a whole eye look. It's not super complicated. So I do love using these. So I think today I'm gonna to be using a combination of these two. This one is in cream and sugar and then this one is in pumpkin pie. So we're gonna use these together. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is this one in cream and sugar. It's just a nice beigey color. I'm gonna start in the crease to see if it has color. So some of these shades are a little deceiving. They look like they are just gonna be like a nice creamy skin tone, but then they do have a little bit of depth to them if you don't be careful. So this one doesn't look like it has a bunch of depth to it. So I am gonna blend it all the way up to the brow. Next, I'm gonna go into pumpkin pie into this shade right here, nice warm brown all right i think i'm gonna go with the lid shade i think i'm gonna go into cream and sugar i'm gonna go into the deeper shimmery shade just, oh, did you see that oh. and i'm just going to pat that onto the lid these are so nice i'm just gonna take that crease shade and just kind of buff everything out i forgot who i was watching that actually compared these to natasha denona shades and honestly the way these shimmers and mattes perform makes me not even want to try a Natasha Denona palette. I might try one of her little ones if she comes up with like a color story that I'm really drawn to but for right now I think I'm just like so happy with these that I really don't care to try anything high end for a while. Okay, this is like really cool tone. I kind of want to keep it nice and warm but this is like a little too dark for what I want. Whatever, we're just gonna go into this one and cream and sugar. It's really nice deep brown, barely tapping into it and tapping off the extra. And we're just gonna kind of build up that outer corner. So we're gonna go ahead and take this matte shade and we're gonna kind of smudge it underneath. So the way I do it is I kind of just like push it towards flat. And then just go underneath the eye. Now if you don't like your eyeshadow going too low, you can always use a more precise brush, but I don't mind it going too below. Then we're going to take this lighter shimmer shade in the cream and sugar palette, and I'm just going to grab a little bit and pop it into the inner corner. And then up onto the lid. Just for a little bit more brightness. And I'm not the best at doing a wing, but I do like to do a wing occasionally. My favorite lighter to do a wing with from the drugstore is definitely the NYX Matte 
liquid liner. This one I'm using my high-end liners. I really just use it for like the base. And then I always wing it out with this because the brush on this is so nice. You can get such a sharp wing with this and it's matte. I'm going to do my best to do a wing on camera. Like I said, it's not the best thing that I am at, but I do do it occasionally. So let's go for it. But, like to do my wing, I need my mirror like super close to me, but don't judge me, whatever. So the way I do my wing is I kind of just like follow my lower line, go out and then bring it in. Like that. And then I'll just kind of have to fill it in. So that's basically the gist of the wing. Now I do have to go ahead and clean it up, make it a little sharper. But before I do that, I'm gonna do the other side, make sure they're even and then sharpen them up. All right, so they're definitely not the same, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of that dark brown shade and right underneath the wing, I'm just gonna smudge a little bit of it to kind of connect it in and then connect it to my lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips, let the wing liner dry before I go in with my lash curler because it will lift it just a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure it's dried up completely and then we'll come back to mascara. So for lips, the lip liner I am choosing is the Clear Statement Lip Liner in All Natural from Milani. It's a pencil liner, but it is super creamy and easy to work with. This is hands down my favorite lip liner formula at the drugstore. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on. My go-to lipstick, it's this one by Revlon. It's part of their Super Lustrous collection. This is the shade Rose Velvet. Now they have a enormous shade range in these. I think they're $4.99 at Walmart, super inexpensive. And so I did have a bunch of these back in the day when I used to like have a way bigger collection. Like my collection now is toned down compared to what it used to be. I used to have a ton of these and these are so good, so comfortable, so easy to throw on. This is something that I wore all the time and I do love it. All right, and then gloss, I am cheating a little bit because I tried looking for my super lustrous lip gloss. I tried looking for my Milani Make It Plump. I cannot find them anywhere, and those are two of the ones that I was gonna recommend. So I'm cheating a little bit. This one you cannot get at Walmart, but you can get on Ulta. This is the ColourPop Luxe Gloss in Tied Up. Now I've been using the shade Come Through a lot in my videos, so I decided to grab the other one that I picked up in that haul that I did, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that today. And I do love the formula of these. The smell is really nice. And I did say that they do compare to the And I did say that they do compare to the Fenty Gloss Moms. Alright, I think we're good for mascara. Now that is what I mean by lifting, but you can just go ahead and just touch that up. And for mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Now this is really good mascara. I do have to use waterproof formula as I've mentioned before because my lashes are super straight. So after I curl them, I do always have to go in with waterproof formula, but they do have normal formula and I believe they have like a black brown if you don't want black and you want something a little bit more natural looking. So I want to make sure that everything lasts for the day. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of my setting spray onto my sponge. Pack it on the back of my hand and then just go over my face to kind of melt everything into the skin. All right, guys, and this is the look using my drugstore recommendations for a drugstore starter kit. If you are just starting out your makeup journey, wearing makeup, purchasing makeup, and you really just don't know where to start, these are my recommendations for you. I'm going to give you a little close up on the look that I created with these products. All right, guys, that does it for this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and comment down below what you would like to see from me next. And go ahead and follow my socials, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat at Korean Sarah, M-U-A. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.